Good evening, Stephanie. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Super good, thank you. Pretty well, thanks for asking. How was your day? Okay. My day a little busy. Okay, did you have to work today? Uh, I don't work in in the o sea, en la calle, no sé cómo decir. On the street. <laughs> uh, on the street, but I work in my house. Oh, okay. I clean, uh, cooking, uh, take care of my nephews. Okay. All right, that's nice. Yes. How many nephews yes, do you teacher. have? I have two. I have four nephews, but in my house stayed only two. Oh, okay. Do they live there, yes. or you only take care of them? Uh, I know. Understand. Oh, do they live there with you? Viven ahí con usted. No, oh, uh, they no. are visited in vacations. Oh, okay. All right, that's good. Yes. Yes. And the platform, Stephanie, have you finished? Oh, I think you told me yes. yesterday you did, right? You're yes, I finished, uh, but I don't have a diploma. Oh, you haven't gotten the diploma. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's not available yet. It's probably going to be there by the end of this week, I guess so. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening, Hector. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Great. I am, I am using my cell phone because I have some trouble with my computer. Oh, really? You're having trouble with the computer? That's so yeah. bad. Yeah, but uh, I am working in the final segment of the section four. Okay. But uh, I have some. I have some trouble with the knowledge um, by the last part about the prepositions. I think that is oh. the, uh, the thing that we will cover today. Yeah, we're going to start talking about that today. So maybe we could take a look at it just before we start with the class. That's it. This one you say the last knowledge check in section four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the last one, the, the four point eleven, I guess. Four and thirteen, it is. Four point yeah, eleven yeah. is the, the lesson object. Okay, so yes. Here, what you have to do is to, um, well, first of all, you have two different sentences. Here we have an example. Mary is the beautiful girl and she is standing by the door. So we must make one sentence only. And well, in this yeah. case, for example, we could say Mary is the beautiful girl standing by the door. So it's basically only eliminating or deleting the subject and the verb, and then just adding the, the ing clause. So for example, yeah. here in the second, in the first one of the exercise, we got Clark is a tall guy. He's wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. 
So you would say Clark is a tall guy wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. So as you see, we only right. eliminate this part. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, I think that I didn't set the point at the end. Oh, okay. because uh, because I write this and the plat uh, the platform uh, didn't say that it was incorrect, but uh, maybe I missing put the yeah the, the point. Yes. Yeah. Always remember that we start sentences with capital letter. And then at the end, we need the period. Okay. So try again, Hector. If you continue having trouble, just let me know, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Good evening, Karina. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Excuse me, repeat the question. Yes, how are you doing? How are you? I'm fine. Okay, great. How was your day? Good. Normal. All right. What did you do today? Only work. You worked, okay. What do you do, Karina? I am a lawyer. You're a lawyer. Okay, interesting. That's nice. And tell me about the platform. Did you finish with it or what are what section are you in? I just start the section four. You are starting section four, okay. All right, that's fine. Just remember that we should finish all section four in this week. So we got today and tomorrow, well, maybe till Friday. Keep working. Good evening, Edwin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am, I am well. All right. And you? I'm fine, thanks. Okay. How was your day? Teacher. Tell me. Very, very good. Eh, sí, solo una, una pequeña consulta. Okay. Fíjense que eh, en la sección 5, en, la, en, la, en el ejercicio final y en el examen final, me está dando me está dando problemas fíjense que yo eh, bueno hago todo lo hago todo este lo como sea lo que me pide que hay que resolver pero la, a la hora de darle para para saber mi puntuación este no 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 se puede o sea le le, le presiono como en mi teléfono táctil verdad uh -huh. le, le presiono y no o sea como que si no estuviera tocando nada pues Uh -huh. le, le aparece deshabilitado el botón, digamos. Ajá, creo que sí está deshabilitado, mientras que uh -huh. en las secciones anteriores sí, bien, bien cabal podía dar, este, darle clic a ese botón y sí me salía toda mi, mi puntuación, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. pero ya en, la, en esa parte final del, de la sección 5 y en el examen final, sí ya no me deja ver mi puntuación porque como que está deshabilitado el, el botón. Ajá. Okay, um, so maybe you could try tomorrow or well, maybe later this uh, today. And if you still have trouble, please contact Jason Bautista or Jonathan. They are also in our WhatsApp group. And you could contact them and they can yes. help you because yes. it's a problem with the platform. Si, eso sería problema de la plataforma, entonces habría que chequear con Jason o con Jonathan qué es lo que está pasando. Pero eh, también yes, podría ser cuestión yes. de la conexión o algo así. Entonces, a lo mejor si probamos no. un tardecito o mañana. No, teacher. Y... teacher. No, no, teacher. Ya lo, ya lo he intentado. Eh, ya hace días me está dando ese problema. Yo hoy lo volví a hacer mm -hmm. y siempre lo mismo. 
Ok, sí, A mí entonces... también me dio ese problema, a mí también me dio ese problema y se me tardó como unos tres días. Pero sí, yo le comenté al muchacho. Ok, ¿y qué le dijo, Stephanie? Eh, solo que sí me seguía dando problemas, pero cuando él me contestó, ya, ya me agarraba perfectamente. Sí, yo creo que es problema de la plataforma. Sí, sí, se Pero sí, me tardó como tres días. Ok, sí, entonces revisemos mañana, Edwin, y si todavía tiene ese problema, lo mejor sería que nos contactemos con ellos. ¿Alguno de ellos podría ayudarnos ahí? Ah, pero, este, bueno, eh, no, 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 no tengo yo el, el correo de esa persona o el WhatsApp. Eh, ¿Cómo no? En el grupo de WhatsApp de nuestra clase está... Ajá. Ok. Eh, ok, entonces lo voy, a, lo voy a buscar entonces. Ok, very good. Flor, eh, me dice que no tenemos problemas en la plataforma. Fíjese, Flor, que me comenta este muchacho Erwin que él no le aparece habilitado el botón de submit para el, para el examen final. No sé qué, qué podríamos hacer en ese caso, Flor Sánchez, si me ayuda, por favor. Permíteme, vamos a... a y también en la parte. Ajá. Y también en un ejercicio, Edwin. Sí, en la sí. parte final, en la parte okay. final de la sección 5, que es el ejercicio final. Ok, déjenme esperar entonces el, el, la respuesta de, de la técnico Flor, a ver qué nos dice, qué podemos hacer. Yo le he visto entonces. Ok, okay teacher. Ah, ok, dice que probablemente se debe a que no han completado todas las secciones en la plataforma. Entonces a lo mejor nos ha quedado ahí algún ejercicio pendiente y es por eso que no nos permite enviarlo. Teacher, teacher sí. yo sí ya lo completé todo, solo, solo esa parte me falta, la, la parte final de la sección 5 y el, y el examen final, ya las demás ya las completé todas. Ok, sí, tengo, Mira, tengo... entonces... Ah, ya me mejor será que, que mañana volvamos a intentar y si el problema persiste, pues nos deja saber ahí a cualquiera. Como le digo, Jason o Jonathan pueden asesorarlo en ese sentido. Y pues okay. ahí estamos al pendiente, ¿ok? Ok. All right. Good evening, Ana María. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. And you? Pretty well. Thanks. How was your day? Okay. And good. Okay. And tell me about the platform, Ana María. How are you doing with that? Uh, I started uh, section four. Okay. Um, yeah. I have half the section, the section. Okay. All right. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Just continue working. Okay. Remember that we should finish all section four this week. Okay. Okay. Andrea Araceli, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, pretty good. And you? Great. I'm doing pretty well. So how was your day? It was a little bit busy. Okay. And the platform? How are you doing with that? Uh, I'm in the section, I'm going to start the section four. You're starting section four, okay. All right, so just remember, we have to complete all section four this week. Just continue working, okay? All right. Okay, so, teacher. So we are going to start with our class. Welcome, everybody.
And well, yesterday we started working in this. Um, today's lesson objective. It's in this session, you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. So yesterday we watched the video and we get the questions that we asked for talking about appearance, physical appearance. And here I have them to review. First of all, we got the general appearance. The questions that we could ask go like, what do or does, then the subject, and then look like. For example, when we say, what does she look like? What does she look like? Can you make another one following the same pattern? What does he look like? What does he look like? Or we could also say, what does your brother look like? What does your father look like? Or what do you like? look like? What do you look like? Then another question that we could ask is, does he wear? For example, does he wear jeans? Or does he wear um, a mustache? What else can we ask? Using does he wear? Any other example using this question? Does he wear a beard? Very good. Okay, then we got the questions for asking about age. That one goes like ho how old, then the verb be, and then the subject. For example, how old are you? How old are you? Tell me another one, please. How old is she? How old is she? Very good. And just remember, uh, whenever we talk about age, we use the verb be, the verb be always. In the question, like how old are you? And in the answers, I'm 20 years old. Or how old is she? She's seven years old and so on. Then we get height. How do we ask about height? Well, we use how tall, then the verb be, and then the subject. For example, in the question, how tall is your sister? How tall is your sister? Make another one, please. How tall is your sister? Okay. Then for talking about hair, we have how long is then the subject. Like how long is your hair? Give me another example. How long is her hair? Thank you. How long is her hair? And then another question that we could ask about the hair is what color is and then the subject. For example, what color is your mom's hair? What color is your mom's hair? Make another question, please. Bye. What color, what is, color your is your hair? sister hair? What color is your sister's hair? What color is your father's hair? Very good. And then we are going to make some questions to match the statements. For example, here we got number one. My daughter is eight years old. What's the question? How old is your daughter? How old is your daughter? Very good. Edwin, can you help me with number two? Uh, it says uh, Adriana uh, is one meter, 35 centimeters. What's the question? Uh, uh, how, 
Coutal. Coutal. Is Adriana. Very good. We say how tall is Adriana. Karina, number three, my hair is brown. What color is your hair? What color is your hair? Very good. Andrea Araceli, number four. A question. She yes. wears the fur. She wears. Uh, sería preguntar si él usa una barba, verdad? Exactly. Yeah. Does he wears a uh, a beard? Does he wear a beard? Very good, a Andrea. Beard. Hector, number five. Hector Rico? Yeah. Uh, does... Does she looks like? Okay, we use what? What does she look like? Very good. Okay. What does she look like? She's gorgeous. Next one, Luciano. What is gorgeous? Gorgeous, Um, it's very pretty. Okay. Luciano, my mom's hair is short. Oh, my, my mom's hair is short. Okay, make the question you seen how long? How long? My mom here. Okay. Could anybody help, please? How long is your mother here? Very good. We say how long is your mother's hair? Number seven, let me see, Ana Maria. Eh, me un minuto. Okay. Uh, Start with what color? What color uh, is your eyes? Okay, just remember that we use R because we're R. talking about the eyes. Are your eyes very good? Are you eyes? Exactly. What color are your eyes? Next one, Osvaldo. Osvaldo Velasquez, what? Yes, what? Uh, so yeah, how are, um, how are your sister? How old is is your sister? Okay. Okay. Thanks, Osvaldo. Number nine, Sergio Eduardo. Okay, teacher. Uh, what does 
he like? What does he look like? Okay, yes. Remember to say your brother. Uh, what does, does your brother, brother look like? Look like. Okay, we say what does your brother look like? And here it shouldn't say are. It's just my brother. My brother's tall and handsome. Just ignore that one. Then Rafael Flores, help me with the last one, please. My boyfriend is six feet five. Okay. What does how tall? Yes, this is how tall. Oh, oh okay. How tall? You, your boyfriend is six feet five. All right, so we say, How tall is your boyfriend? How tall is your boyfriend? Okay, now I need you to repeat after me. How old is your daughter? How old is your How daughter? Old is your daughter? How, old How old is your daughter? How tall is Adriana? How tall is Adriana? What color is your hair? What, what color is your hair? Does he wear a beard? Does he wear a beard? What does she like? What does, what does she look does like? She look like. What does she look like? I didn't write it correctly. Again, what does she look like? What does she look like? What does she look like? How long is your mother's hair? How long is your mother's hair? What color are your eyes? What color are your eyes? Your eyes? How old is your sister? How, How old, old, is, your sister? How old sister? is your sister? What does your brother look like? What does, what does your brother, brother look like? like? How tall is your boyfriend? How tall, How tall, is, your tall is your boyfriend? Okay, oh, let me just tell you about pronunciation of this words. We got bird and beard. So it's important to make the difference. And we could also add bear. So here, this one is the animal, bird, bird. Repeat, please. Bear. Bear. Bird. Bear. Bird. This one bird. is the trait, like the hair that, we, that men have on their face. So that would be yeah. beard, 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 beard. In this one, it's the big animal that has a lot of hair, right? That is bear. 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 And beard. we also have the drink, bear. which is beer. 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 Okay, so we got beard, 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 and beer. 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 So it's important to pronounce correctly because otherwise we would get confused with the words, right? We got beard, beard, bear, and beer. Repeat, please. Beard. Bear. Beard. 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 Bear. 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 Okay. Now let's move on. So now I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for a little practice. We're going to ask questions about our relatives' appearance. So, for example, you're going to talk about your mom, then you could ask how old is your mom, or uh, how long is your mom's hair, how tall is your mom, and so on. 
just keep on asking questions about your relatives. You could talk about your mom, your dad, your boyfriend, husband, girlfriend, or wife, your children, if you have any sons, any daughters. You could talk about them, okay? <clears throat> okay, teacher. Okay. All right, so let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. you got a couple of minutes to talk about that. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Eh, cuando yo quiero decir mi mamá tiene eh, 54 años, ¿cómo sería? My mom is... Oh. Yes. ¿Cómo? You say my mom is... What is it? 54? 54 years old. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Ok. Eh, compañeros, let's start with the question. Okay. Um. Eh, hello. Eh, hello. Julia, Julia, Hello. how old how, how is your mother? My mom have 56. My mom is. So. Remember to use the verb be with the age. My mom is. My mom. Have. My mom. My mom is, uh, my mom is 52 years old. Yes, 52 years old. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, Andrea. Okay. Is your mother ace? Uh, ice? Ojos? Ice? Mm -hmm. uh, my mother's. My mother have. Color, color black. Uh, um, keys uh, small. Nose eh, medium, eh, ear eh, small. Okay, only that. Only that, yes. Okay, I describe my my nephew. He's he's short. He he's short, and he's short black hair. He are black eyes. Yes. He has short black hair. He has black hair. He has. Eh, eh, he has, y para los ojos, 
here and you can say brown eyes has you use has as well he has brown eyes or he has black eyes he has black eyes and he's a young mm. <clears throat> who are you franklin uh, sorry repeat please who are you like that yeah uh, i am 28 years old okay you're younger <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> Uh, this, is, this is the this is similar age to my son. Oh, interesting. You could be my son. Okay. <laughs> yes. Like 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 Darth Vader. Darth? Like your father. <laughs> ah, I, I am your father. Ah, a Star Wars movie. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Mm. My old is um, 30 old years. Casi los 31 years. One years you're, old. You're, you're older. Years old. Yes, my old okay. is uh, 30 old years, casi los 31. Estoy cerca de cumplirlo. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, uh, how old is your, your daughter, Ana Maria? Perdón. Bueno, o usted le tocaba. Yo la acabo de hacer. Okay. Ah, me toca contestar a mí. Sí. How long is your mother hair? My mother my mother hair is Sure. Así está bien. That's right. Sí. Okay. Uh, how old is your mother? My mother is 58 years old. Okay. Your door. Yes. Welcome back. So now let me hear some of the questions and answers. Let's see, Stephanie, can you ask about Edwin's mother? Okay. 
Edwin, your mother, what color is, what color is your mother's hair? My mother's hair is black. Very good. Okay. Now, Edwin asked a question about Andrea's mother, Andrea Araceli's mother. Okay. How tall is your mother? My mother is, is short. <laughs> okay. Andrea, now you ask a question about Karina's mom. Uh, okay. Karina, um, how, how long is your mother's hair? My mother's hair is short. Very good. Karina, now ask about Sergio Eduardo's dad. Sergio, how old is your dad? Uh, my dad is a uh, uh, 50, 50, four years old. All right, Sergio, you ask about Franklin's dad. Uh, Franklin, uh, how tall is your dad? Repeat, please. How tall is your dad? Oh, tall. Tall, altura. Yes. Frank. Hola. How tall? Uh, 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 okay. Uh, he is uh, one meter in 72 centimeters. No sé okay. Si forma yeah, that's fine. Now, Franklin, you okay. ask about Ana Maria's daughter. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, how how old is your son? Oh, daughter. Hola. Sorry, 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 daughter. Yeah, it's okay. No sé qué es la última palabra que mencionó. Oh, hijo. Hija. En son ah, hijo. No te, Do you have any daughter? No tengo or... hija. Okay. Do you have a son? Yes. Okay, then tell us about your son. My son, eh, me dijo la edad, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, my, my son is eh, the first six years old. Okay, your son is six The years second old. Eh, one, one years old with a uh, night moms. All right. Now, Ana Maria asked Rafael about his, let's see, Rafael, do you have a, a girlfriend or wife? Uh, I have a girlfriend. You have a girlfriend, okay. About his girlfriend then. Yes. Uh, or... Go ahead, Ana Maria. Excuse me. Siempre sería or? Or uh, tall? No, whatever question you want to ask. La que usted quiera. Ah, la que yo quiera. Uh -huh. Ahorita, permítame. Eh, dale, dale. Eh, dos dale. dijo dale. girlfriend yes girlfriend how eh, does girlfriend wear a eh, shirt repeat please question 
does girlfriend wear gym wear cheers? You listen. What years? What? Shirt. Queer shirt. Queer. How do you say cheer? Excuse me. In, that, in Spanish. How do you say shirt? Camiseta. Si ah, usa camiseta. Yes. Yes. She is just a teacher. Okay. Uh, All right, very good. So now let's continue with a different topic. We are going to start talking about the modifiers with particles and prepositions. So in this session, we will learn to use modifiers with particles and prepositions. And to start with that, we're going to practice a conversation. Let's listen to it first. Okay, pay attention, please. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. She's standing near the window. Oh. Okay, so tell me, do you have any questions about the conversation, maybe the vocabulary or just anything? Maybe not, right? It's sure. uh, yes. Sure. Uh, what yes. is the meaning of standing? Standing in parada? Yes. Parada? In this case, you standing near the window. Oh. Está parada standing. cerca de la ventana. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, what means? Uh, which which one is, is she? Which, which, which one, one is she? Uh huh. What is she? What is she? Okay. Any other questions? Okay, so Good let's question. practice a conversation. Let me see, Stephanie and Franklin, can you read it, please? Okay. Okay, teacher. Go ahead. Hi, Ra Hi, Raul. Go to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she called Make It. She went to concert with Alec. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to you? Julia, she doesn't, she doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Very good. Thanks for reading, Stephanie and Franklin. Now I need you to repeat, please. Good. 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 Good to see you. Good, Good to see you. See you. Couldn't. 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 She couldn't make it. She couldn't, she couldn't make, make it. it. Okay. 
Wearing. 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 Standing. 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 Okay. Now let me ask, let's see, Rafael and Andrea Araceli, can you read the conversation, please? Okay. Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she called Maggie. She went to a concert with, with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is, the, is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh it like to meet her. Okay, very good. Thanks. Now repeat again. She couldn't make it. She called could make it. Couldn't make it. Couldn't. Couldn't make it. Okay, say couldn't. Couldn't. Couldn't, 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 couldn't make it. Couldn't make it. She couldn't make it. She couldn't make it. Couldn't make it. I'd. I'd. I'd like to meet her. I'd like to meet her. Okay, perfect. Now, Sergio and Ana Maria, can you read, please? Sergio Eduardo and Ana Maria. Okay, teacher. Okay. Hi, Raul. Go to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, Will. Why don't you go a talk to Julia? She don't know anyone here. Uh, Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the talk one in gyms. She's studying near the window. Oh, I would like to meet here. Okay, thanks for reading. Repeat one more time. Good. 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 Couldn't. Couldn't. Well. 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 Doesn't know. Doesn't know. Wearing. 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 Over there. Over there. Over there. Standing. Standing. I'd. I'd. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. Again, I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like to meet her. I'd like to meet her. Like to meet her. Okay, let me ask one last pair to read. That would be Edwin and uh, Karina. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she couldn't. Maybe she went to oh, a concert well. with Alex. Why don't you go? With Alex. Why don't you? Oh well. Why do? Why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia. Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She is standing near the window. Oh, oh I'd like to 
later. Okay, thank you. Now repeat, please. Hi, Raul. Hi, Raul. Hi, Raul. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Good, Good to see you. you. Where's Maggie? Where's, Where's Maggie? Maggie? Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. Oh, she oh, couldn't, she make, couldn't it. make it. She went to a concert with Alex. She went, went to a concert, concert with, with Alex. Alex. Oh, well. Oh, oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Why don't you go and talk to Julia? Why, Why do you go, go and talk to, and to Julia? Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. She doesn't, she doesn't know, know anyone, anyone here. here. Julia? 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 Which one is she? Which one is Which she? One is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Glasses over there? No, she's a tall one in jeans. No, she's a tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, so here you see how we use the, the prepositions and the modifiers with particles. For example, in the sentence, she's the tall one in jeans. Here we're using a preposition in. And we also have she's standing near the window. Standing near the window. We're describing this woman, right? Now let's watch yeah. the video about the modifiers. And we're going to explain it. Oh, we only have, well, probably we should leave it for tomorrow because we do not have more time. So that will be all for today's class. Do you have any questions? So far, so good. I don't have any questions. Okay, so that will be all. Thanks for participating. Take care. Have a good night. Take care. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Right. See you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Good night.